assessment and management in the pain assessment uh, while collecting the history we will see pqrst so first p is uh, denoted by precipitating or elevating factors okay precipitate precipitating or elevating factors means how um, what are the factors that increasing that increase the pain like example what causes the pain what aggravates it has medication or treatment work in the past so these are the questions we should ask the next is q that means the quality of pain ask the patient to describe the pain using the words like sharp dull stabbing burning okay then radiation does the patient exist in one location does the pain exist in one location or radiate to the other areas for example if the patient is having in the uh, having pain in the neck then uh, does it aggravates to any of uh, any either of the arm like the if it if it is aggravating to the left arm or the right arm we should ask then severity have the patient use descriptive numeric or visual scale to rate the severity of the pain so uh, we should always assess the severity of the pain by using the numerical uh, pain scale any type of pain scale then timing is the patient uh, is the pain constant or intermittent when it begin okay we should always ask these questions while doing the pain assessment then we should also assess for the objective signs which a patient will not be able to tell like the facial expressions like grimacing frowning set face okay then vocalizations like crying moaning then body movements like guarding resistance to moving so we should all observe this Next is a pain assessment of uh, pain assessment tools. There are three types: verbal rating scale, numeric rating scale, and Wong Baker's facial Wong uh, Wong Baker's faces pain scale. First is the verbal rating scale. In this, we'll use this verbal rating in the rating intensity scale. Here we have the no pain, mild pain, moderate pain, severe pain. We'll, we'll give this to the patient and. Uh, let the per, uh, patient identify uh, the wh uh, have, whether the patient is having the, uh, the uh, various pain levels. Then next is a numeric rating scale. It will be uh, given like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 10. Then Wong Baker's facial pain scale. Uh, this will uh, uh, show the facial. Okay, hurts a little bit, hurts more, even more, hurts a lot more, hurts worst. So the patient will identify whether it is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 or 5. Management of pain, we have the pharma pharmacological interventions, non-pharmacological interventions. In the pharmacological interventions, uh, therapy is given by using the analgesics, non steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or opioids. Then adjuvants. Adjuvants are the drugs which are developed to treat the conditions other than the pain but also have the analgesic properties. Then uh, this is a uh, WHO pain management ladder. The pain management ladder will have three steps according to this, according to the intensity of the person is having one to three level. Then uh, the it will follow the step one. Then if the patient is having four to six level, will follow the step two and uh, likewise step three. Uh, next is a patient control analgesia. So this is a type of the drug delivery system which is a method for pain management that many patients will prefer. It is a drug delivery system that allows the patient to administer self self administer the opioids that is morphine or fentanyl with fentanyl with minimal risk of overdose. Like here in the PCA infusion pumps are they are portable that means they can be um, both from one place to the another and computerized and contain a chamber for syringe or bag that delivers a small preset dose of opioids. So the, the dose of the opioid will be preset and the uh, patient can uh, push the button anytime to give the uh, to receive the demand dose at any time at any place so this is a um, advantage of the patient control analgesia then there are also topical analgesics like will, uh, when we have the pain we can apply the topical ointments or the transdermal patch Transdermal patch means we'll, uh, we will uh, stick to the skin 
which you, which you are having the pain and it will deliver a small amount of dose continuously so here we, uh, in the picture we can also see the transdermal page which is placed in the arm then in local anesthesia it is a local infiltration of an anesthetic medi medi medication to induce a loss of sensation to a body part so this local anesthesia can also be used to depress the so to suppress the pain then regional anesthesia it is a injection of a local anesthetic to a block of uh, to a group to block a group of sensory fibers so it is given to a particular area to block the sensory nerves and decrease the pain there are also the non -pharm various non pharmacological pain management like uh, uh, meditation yoga acupuncture exercises then uh, listening to music and all this uh, all, uh, all these activities which will relieve the pain uh, rather than giving medications are known as a non-pharmacological management of pain. Okay?